What's up, awesome people? Hey, today we're gonna create a container from uh, you know a Java code with Quarkus and the Quarkus CLI. So super easy to do. Quarkus CLI, you can get that on uh, code or on Quarkus.io, the source code. You can create it from code.quarkus.io, or you can use the CLI. So in this case, that's what I'll do. Quarkus uh, create app, and I'm just gonna use all the defaults, and that's just gonna create me a super super simple uh, application with um, even uh, rest easy reactive endpoint. So uh, let's go straight into this uh, generated code, which is called code with Quarkus in this case. And um, I'm just gonna go on VS Code to show you because it's uh, a little bit easier. And we can see here that um, we have our main Java greeting resource and we just have hello from rest easy reactive. Let's say that we're gonna create our container image, right? And so in my case, the first one that I'm gonna create because I already have Podman running on my, my machine, so we'll do hello from Podman. Uh, mm, hello from Podman, why not? Hey, um, what's cool with Quarkus 2 is that it supplies you with some Docker files out of the box. Uh, one for uh, just running a regular Quarkus on the JVM, a Java application on the JVM, and there's even Docker files to uh, do a native build and then uh, run it um, without a, the JVM in that container image. But you know what? We don't even need to worry about any of that. So if I want to now create the container image or yeah, the container image, I can just do Quarkus image build. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna, of course, build our application, create the jar, and uh, it automatically will use one of the Docker files that, uh, that comes by default. You can, of course, configure all that. But in my case, let's keep it simple. And now we've built our container image and that's all there was to it. So in my case, because I have Podman running on my machine, um, Quarkus was doing a uh, Docker build. Um, but since I have Podman, it was smart enough to figure out that it needs to be Podman build. And you know, the container image has been created. Um, there's this cool kind of application, it's called Podman Desktop, that helps me show you that the container actually works, right? So. We can see in our images, this container image was created a couple seconds ago, and I can start it um, really simple by hitting the play button. And you know, you can configure all you want, but you know, we can see here that ex uh, container image exposes port 8080, so it's mapping to port 8080 on my local machine. I could change that. Anyway, let's stick with the default start container. And if we go to our uh, browser, mm, let's see where it is. It's hidden somewhere. Here we go. All right. So let's go to localhost 80. Oops. Localhost 8080 slash hello because that was the endpoint, right? And sure enough, it says hello from Podman. So we're up and running with containers super easily. Quarkus image build, and that's all we had to do. And then you know I used Podman desktop to start it up. Um, but so what if I don't have Podman or um, Docker running on my machine and uh, I still want to create containers. Well, there's a couple of ways of doing it. Um, one easy way is to use Jib. Jib is a, a Java um, project to, con to create container images. So let's do that. Let's go um, back to our CLI and we're going to use that Quarkus CLI again because it's just super easy. Quarkus extension add Jib. And Quarkus is smart enough to figure out that by jib, I meant io.quarkus colon quarkus container image jib, which uh, I like that because I don't like to type all of that. Um, and so if I wanna create a container image this time with jib, quarkus image build, um, and I supply just what kind of uh, build I wanna use, and in this case, jib, quarkus image build jib, and we're off to the races again, creating that uh, jar file again. And then <clears throat> we're gonna see in a second that uh, here we go, starting local container image build for jar using jib. And sure enough, it's gonna create our container image. And in just a second, we'll see, you know, if we go back to Podman, hit refresh. Well, we can see that, you know, 15 seconds ago, a new container image was built. Um, we can see that the previous uh, image that we built now says none, right, because it was our new container image was tagged with the same name, so uh, the other one was untagged 
Um, but we can see, you know, with the green cloud here that the other one is still running. Um, but, you know, let's run this one as well. And you can see, hey, Podman desktop is kind of cool, right? Look at that. Port 8080, map to 8082 because it says like, hey, dude, you already have port 8080 running for another container. So start container and up and running super fast. Let's look at the logs. How fast did it go? Less than half a second on the JVM. Not bad. All right, <laughs> let's go back to our browser. Oh, you know what? Um, let's do something actually more fun. So it worked, but um, if we show it now in the in the browser, it's just going to say from uh, from Podman, right? So let's say hello from Jib. Up, and let's do uh, one more build with Jib. Quarkus image build Jib, and then wait a second and couple more seconds, drum rolls. And we can see that it finished. All right, so back to Podman and let's refresh. And we have yet another image that we can run. Uh, hit play, map support 8083 this time, start container. And if we go to our browser and we go to port 8083, Hello from Jib, yay. So that hopefully proves it, you know, so we have three different containers running right now from three different builds. So we have one on 8080 from Podman, then we have 8082, right? That was built with Jib, but I hadn't updated the uh, file yet. But you can see it's really easy to create container images uh, with Quarkus, with this uh, Quarkus CLI. You can also use Maven. Uh, no problem. I just like the CLI because it's just like I don't have to remember exactly what to type and everything. But, you know, hopefully this was helpful to you and uh, I'll see you in one of the next casts.